Hey everybody, this is Callaway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett. Who else would I be? Who else is the goofy guy in this in the weird sweaters and the goofy glasses? That's me. <laughs> I'm here with Alan Hocknell, and I guess you're his wingman. We can call you the wingman. You're everybody's wingman. Whoa, wingman. This is a uh, wingman. You can call the wingman. <laughs> all right, all right. It's Evan Gibbs. He's the main oh, Metal Woods man. Main Metal Woods wingman. And this is a, uh, you know what, this is like a very special Blossom today. This is a very special Callaway Talks. So if there are those of you out there that want to see not clubs that are made for the very, very best players, you want to see clubs that are made for everybody, please do us a favor. We'll pause briefly as you tune into another Callaway Talks because this Callaway Talks is purely aimed for those high ball speed guys. Sometimes that's the internet golfer. But we're, this time, we're specifically talking about guys that are generating the very, very most ball speed. And we have a new product for you. And this product is uniquely designed for those kind of players because it's going to give you the lowest of low spin. This is like, this is a real, I'll say it. This is going to get me in trouble. I don't mind. This is a real man's club. <laughs> so this is not the club for me. I'm out. I'm not a real man. This is a real man's club. And it's the, this, now you got to take a pencil because it's hard to say. The Big Bertha Alpha 815 Double Black Diamond. It's right here. Alan, tell us about this one. I don't even feel like I can touch it. <laughs> well, definitely designed for the better player with a lot of input from our tour staff as well and specifically aimed at using our best technology to get low spin and, and retain ball speed when we get that low spin. So um, this is uh, very capable of doing exactly that. A uh, real low spin in driver, lower than uh, the spin rate that we'll get from any of the other Callaway drivers, uh, but still able to retain ball speed when you don't quite hit the center of the face because uh, we've got a giant face featuring the new R-Moto technology and we've improved the MOI of this head, particularly in the loft deloft direction where uh, it's important if you're gonna uh, move the impact location up and down the face. So a lot of technology packed into uh, a new shape of head, again, with the, the requirements of the better players uh, fully in mind. Remind us again, Evan, what this R-Moto does. So it's a new face technology really designed to take weight out of the face that we can position elsewhere in the club. It's also our most energy efficient uh, face we've ever designed for, for higher average ball speed. So this was really the key in getting more discretionary weight that we can put back in the club head to lower the CG and improve the MOI. So can we use the phrase ball speed robustness again for this? That would be a I great, love that phrase. great phrase. So a lot more robust <laughs> ball speeds all across the face. And then we brought Gravity Core, of course, into this one. Is this the same Gravity Core that we've seen? It's not. It's slightly longer than we've seen before. So uh, that gives us a little bit different throw of the CG position compared to the original Big Bertha Alpha. And this is kind of the real true successor to the original Big Bertha Alpha. Um, the spin rates are at least 100 RPM lower when the gravity core is in the low position. And then when you flip it around and put it in the upper position, it gets to about the same height as the original Big Bertha Alpha. So even lower spin, lower, more CG adjustability than the original Alpha. Yep. All right, well, that was too much driver for me, Alpha. You're telling me that I can, this is one I should just put on the wall or maybe my office driver, <laughs> which would be nice because it is very, very cool. And you can definitely see the shape of this is also a little different from what you would see from the Big Bertha Alpha 815. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a taller face, uh, a higher arching crown, um, a lot of it built really based on feedback from the Tour players. And the configuration of the driver uh, sort of has that same theme all the way throughout. So um, it, you know, the head plays pretty strong with that uh, low spin characteristic. And we've matched it up with the Aldo La Rogue shaft, which has been uh, one of the most popular and most successful shafts on the PGA Tour as well. So the entire configuration of the driver is at the slightly heavier end of our weight spectrum, and it has a tour grade shaft and uh, a lot of the tour player feedback in the design of the head. So all the guys that are still out there watching this program, remember we had a bunch of people that turned it off. <laughs> And we invited right. them to turn it off. Probably not the smartest thing. We invited people to turn off the program. We don't care. We're breaking all the rules. <laughs> but the people that are still around, this driver is the one. If you are looking for the lowest of low spin in the golf shop, you got to try this one in addition to uh, all of other products. But this one specifically is going to bring them low spin. So what kind of lofts do we have in this as well? Comes in a, a 9 and a 10.5. Yep. 9 and 10.5. And you mentioned all the little rogue shaft as well as a complement of our 12 upgrade shafts that are um, no charge upgrades that are the exotic That's shafts right. everybody like it. Yeah. You like the exotic stuff, don't you? <laughs> You're into the exotic things, aren't you? Aren't you, Evan? I saw you I saw you smirk on that. So that's the Big Bertha Alpha 
815 Double Black Diamond. We're kind of struggling with a nickname for this one. We're thinking Double Black Diamond or DBD, maybe DD. It's up to you guys. Let us know on Twitter what you think. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for joining us. And uh, we'll be back next month with a new driver launch, huh, Alan? All right. Okay, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> We're going to wait a little while. But thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Callaway Talks.